so welcome back to my channel so today we're doing a tutorial from mega look hair company they sent me some hair so we're gonna do a whole install and tutorial on how to get the look so i'm about to go through everything that came in the box and it was quite a lot of stuff in here so i was pretty happy and it was really nice so First, they give you this instructions little pamphlet, and it has like everything on how to maintain the wig, how to take care of it, how to wash it, um, how to clean it, and everything like that. Everything on the inside, it was really nice. Then it comes with this rat tail comb. I really, really was happy about the rat tail comb because I really needed a new one, and it came with a rat tail comb. And it came with wig caps, two wig caps at that. And they're like my scalp color, so I was happy about that. I didn't have to do too much with the wig cap. Then it came with two clips. So just two little clips. I get to like clip, you know, clip the hair back. And then this is the wig. And that was everything in the box. So I'm going to take the wig out. Y'all, it was so nice. So it's a 22 inch body wave wig from the company. And it was just really soft and it looks so good. Like it didn't have that little smell to it or anything like that. It was really soft. It didn't really shed. It was so nice coming out of the packaging. And I'm just, you know, feeling it. And it was just so nice. I was so excited, you know. And I just kept running my fingers through it. Trying to make sure, you know, what the shedding was. So I could tell you guys. But it really was not a lot of shedding. Excuse my nail. I look ratchet. But, yeah. And it comes with, like, you know, little baby hairs and stuff on the lace front. So that was nice. Little baby hairs in the front. And it, it kind of matched. It matched really good. Like, the lace matched really good on my hand. So I thought... I didn't have to do too much to it. It comes with a band. I love that it comes with a band because that was going to make sure my wig was extra secure. And it comes with a comb in the front, two combs on the side, and a comb in the back for extra security and elastic straps. But it looks really nice, and I was so happy. It was so soft and so pretty. Oh, my God. I was so excited, y'all. I was so excited. But, yeah. So, now I'm about to put the wig on just to see, like, how it looks and fits my head before I actually start customizing it. And it looked really good, like, off the bat. But I was just trying to make sure I need to know what exactly I need to do to my hair. And how to make it look really good and natural. So I'm just pulling it down, adjusting it. It fit me so nice. I was so happy. It fit me really good. So I was just playing with it to see, like, you know, how I part my hair, how I want to, like, wear it and everything. I'm probably just going to do a side part because I just love flipping my hair like that. So I was just making sure it looks good. But it looks really dense, so I, had, I knew I had to plug it a lot. But I was already feeling myself, so... I could have just kept it as is, but you know, I can't go out like that. So I'm going to use the comb that they gave me to part the hair and just to like see like, you know, how much I had to actually pluck because it was really thick. I was looking for a middle part, but then I was like, hmm, I really didn't want a middle part, but I just wanted to see like how thick it was. So we're about to actually get into all of this hair stuff in the next part of the video. So I applied my cap and everything with foundation on it. I put it down, everything like that. Made sure, you know, my edges were safe. And 
I don't really be caring about the back. I just be caring about the front because I don't be lifting my hair up anyway. So I just make sure the front is laid and make it look like it's natural, like it's my scalp. I use the cap that they gave me when it came with the box. So that was really handy because it wasn't too much that I had to do to the cap. So I had already plucked the wig some. And y'all, this is like kind of like my second wig I've ever done. But look at that hairline though. Like it just looks so good. Like it looks so good. It's like way more thinned out than what it was. I can actually see like, you know, the scalp of the hair, like of the lace when I pull it back and everything. Cause I could not see it before. But I just really love like I did pluck it really good. I plucked to the best of my ability. I'm not gonna I'm not a pro plucker, so you know I got what I got, but I still did really good and I was proud of myself. I was so like pleased with it. But yeah, so now we're finna take some alcohol and you know clean around the cap. You wanna make sure you get off all the makeup and you know all the spray and everything you use to make sure the cap was down. And I use 91% alcohol. I don't think it really matters what percent alcohol, but I like 91%. And I just cut off some of the extra lace that I saw after I cleaned up the cap, just to make sure that it wasn't too far on my forehead. So now I'm putting the wig on again to make sure it looks good with the cap on and the lace being plucked. It looks so natural and I was so happy. Look at that hairline though, like, oh, it just looks so good, it looks so natural. I was so happy, just look at it, like, run my fingers through it, and you can see some scalp now, like, I plucked that, I did that, y'all, mm-hmm. Two, look at that hairline. I had to zoom in on y'all, like, look at the hairline. It just looks so good. Oh my God, I did that. I was feeling myself. Put it in slow-mo and everything for y'all. It matches with my cap so good, so I was so happy about that. But you know, I gotta make sure I got some baby hairs. I gotta make sure I got some sideburns. So it looked really good and I was really happy. But I'm just really double checking to make sure I don't want to pluck it anymore and make sure it looks really good with the cap on. So now I'm about to tie the hair back. So I'm just going through again and plucking the lace some more just to make sure it looks completely how I want it to look. Because I plucked it before, but now I put it on so I can still see how it looks again. So now I'm going to pluck it more because it's actually on my head. And now I'm going to wet my hairline, just the hairline, to make sure I like how the lace looks. Because when, when the hairline is wet, you can really see like the difference. And it looks so good when it's wet. Look at the hairline. like I can actually see the details of what I plucked. It looks so good. So now I'm about to put um, my foundation on the lace just to make it match my scalp even more. I use Maybelline Fit Me foundation. And I just applied it to the lace, spread it all over. And it's like the same uh, foundation I use on 
my cap so it matches my skin way more now that i put some foundation on it since i did not bleach the knots i had to put some foundation on there and it looks really good now it looks really good on my skin it looks like it matches looks natural so now we're gonna put the wig on again And it looks so much more natural that I put some foundation on the lace. So now I'm just gonna clip the hair back so we can begin to cut the lace. I'm just placing it to make sure I like, you know, where each side is sitting before I actually cut it. Hairline looks great. So I'm about to clip the hair back just to make sure I don't cut any of the hair. And now I'm about to outline the hairline of where I want to actually cut the lace with this uh, white eyeliner. So I'm about to cut the lace in like four sections. That way I can just look at each flap and make sure I cut each flap accordingly to the hairline that I plucked. So now I'm about to cut um, my sideburns and cut around my ear. just so that the wig fits around my ear and it's more comfortable because you don't want lace over your ear. So now I'm cutting where I outlined with the white eyeliner to make my sideburns. And now I'm going around the rest of the hairline with the white part just to make sure, you know, I cut it off nicely and make it look natural. Look at that, you can't even see the, oh, you can't even see the lace. And you want to cut it like raggedy, that way it doesn't look like a straight line going across your forehead. So now I'm applying my Ghost Bond glue to the whole perimeter of my forehead. And I'm going to spread it out just to make it a nice thin layer. Then I'm gonna get my blow dryer and I'm gonna make sure it dries down clear. Then I go back in with the second layer of the glue 
just to make sure, you know, it's extra secure when I put the wig on. And I spread it out and then I let the second layer air dry instead of using the blow dryer. So now it's time to move the wig up so we can actually lay it down. I do the middle first and then I do the sides after. And then I get the blow dryer in my comb and I just make sure, you know, it's all intact and laying nice and flat and natural. And I'm going to do the other side the exact same way. Now I'm just gonna make sure all of it all over is nice and dry and it's gonna stay in place. So now I'm just, you know, detangling the hair, laying it down, taking the clips out, making sure it's so cute and I just want to lay it down exactly how I want it. It looks so good, y'all. I did so good. I did this, y'all. I did this. Like, look at that hairline. Like, look at all of that. It looks so good. Ew, okay, I did this. What lace? What wig? So I just did a little natural side part. I didn't even really like, you know, pluck a part out or anything like that. I just flipped it over and made sure it laid down the way I wanted it to because it didn't need to do all the extra stuff, but it was cute as is. So I'm about to just take some mousse and put it on the hair to lay it down the way I wanted to lay in that side part. It just looks so good, y'all. Like, I did this. And no, the part wasn't perfect. I just wanted it to look, like, really natural. So now I'm about to make some little baby hairs or whatever. I'm just plucking out a really thin section of hair in the front. Very, very thin. Like, super, super thin. And I'm just gonna cut them at an angle. Like I'm really making sure it's thin. But I'm just gonna cut them at an angle. And I'm gonna do some on the other side. I didn't really wanna put a lot of baby hairs because 
I feel like a lot of baby hairs make it look a little too fake. So I just wanted to do a little something just to make it look a little bit more realistic. Like my actual hair. And I just made these really, really thin. Cutting those at an angle. And then I just take a little bit of mousse and I lay the baby hairs down. Now I'm gonna take my scarf and secure my edges, secure the lace, make sure everything is just intact, make sure everything stays. And then I'll be back. So now I'm back, I let it dry for like a good 10, 15 minutes. Let it sit in place. And it's just so laid and it's so pretty. Like y'all, I didn't even do that much to this wig. I just plugged it, put it on, threw some baby hairs on it and it just looks so good. It looks just like my hair. Like look at the hair, look at the lace, look at everything, the hairline, the baby hairs. I did this like no filter or nothing. I don't even need a filter with this. Like. Look at my sideburns, look at all the edges. The hair looks so good. I was so, 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 so happy. Like, look at this 22 inch. Like, you could not tell me nothing. Look, I'm feeling myself. <laughs> you know, your girl feeling herself. But get into it, get into it. Look, ooh, the behind the ear. Oh, tuh. okay. Done by me, slay by me, period. Gotta make sure everything look good. You know, I ain't no professional, so this is my first putting on by myself and everything, and I did too good. I was so proud of myself, y'all. This wig is amazing. This hair was amazing. Like, I didn't even have to make a part or nothing. Like, it's so good. But, you know, I'm still feeling myself. <laughs> So bye y'all, don't forget to comment down below, make sure you like this video, make sure you subscribe too, and make sure you check up on the Lord Gang because you know we're going up one video at a time. So bye y'all.